Hey, the board gamers, Justin here, Paint here today. Boom! We're going to reflect back on our time working on the tutorial Turkina. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If you are new here, please alpha strike that like and subscribe button and also go back and watch the tutorial videos for this guy. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for supporting what I do and I appreciate you being here. Uh, so this video today uh, is going to be probably pretty brief, but I kind of wanted to just talk about um, the process we went through here and just reflect. Um, I find doing tutorials, not that I've done many, but the, the process to be a little daunting and it takes, um, it can take quite a bit of time. Um, this one actually came together pretty quickly. Um, I think breaking it down into bite-sized chunks was really nice. So like the, um, starting with it prepped zenithal like highlighting, um, or appreciating, and then doing the, um, the base coats, the masking, the dry brushing, all of that stuff, like cutting it into parts made it really easy to kind of film edit. Uh, and I, I assume that for you guys watching, um, probably something a little bit easier to, to digest. Um, one of the things that I struggle with, uh, with doing that kind of thing is a, like, is the flow going to work properly? Because I don't know till I get to the footage. And then you can only stitch what you can stitch. You know what I mean? Um, is it too long? Am I over-explaining? Am I in frame right? Because sometimes I'll be like, let's paint this little lens. And I'm like down here and you can't see me. Um, you know, so some of that's a worry and anxiety. But I really think that... I think we got through this pretty good. Um, one of the things that I had to... Another thing I should say that I had to uh, overcome was um, also accepting that what I'm doing for this may not be the best thing that I can do and try and understand that for this particular mission, the task is to show you guys some techniques that I would do to get this guy in the current state. Not everything has to be a masterpiece, right? And that's, that's very difficult. Um, it's a hard, like a headspace to get yourself into when, um, you are used to, um, I'm not an idiot, but you know, my philosophy with wargaming was to uh, have the best looking minis on the table because I don't win a lot. Uh, or if I do win, um, I'm playing with people who are also as casual as me. Um, AKA, I, while well, I, I can play try hard stuff, I don't particularly like to do that all the time. Um, so I want to focus on the hobby so that if someone else is being like a try hard, at least this thing I have control over, I don't have control over what they were doing. So when I paint stuff and I don't do every little detail, it stresses me out sometimes. Uh, so doing this, this tutorial series kind of made me take a step back and reflect. Like I didn't have to edge highlight everything here. Um, and I think it turned out, turned out pretty good. Um, so if there were other things that I would do, uh, it probably would be talking about more advanced techniques or, or time consuming ones. I wouldn't really say advanced, um, where we do hand edge highlights that'll make some of this a bit more crisp. Same thing on the beige. Uh, and then I would have definitely spent a little bit more time trying to work the blends on the canopy. I think that turned out pretty good, but um, there's one spot on that where I just I rushed it and the transition isn't as good as I want. And, you know, if I had to do this this over again, you know, I'd probably, probably get it more right. But I'm still pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I feel like some of the... the, the um, the sessions could have been a little bit more succinct. I probably could have cut more, but I'm, I'm curious what you guys think. Like, you know, this may be a 50 50 or may just be all or nothing. Um, but would you, do you think those videos, if you've watched them all, would you have enjoyed them more if they were like real quick cuts, like boom, 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 like uh, do this dry brush, do a little bit and then cut to the next step, cut to the next step. Or did you enjoy watching more of the process and hearing me ramble because for me I kind of enjoy the filming side a bit more from the kind of Bob Ross approach where if I have things I can say I will talk to you with you and try and teach you while I go and then if um if I don't have anything to say and it gets quiet that's when I'll I'll do the like uh, time lapse or speed up uh, and we'll, we'll cut the audio and have a little bit of music play um I'd only had that happen I think once during this um um well, once as of right now, because, uh, yeah, um, I'm not sure. I may, I think I only did it once. I may, I may have had some other ones. We'll see. We'll see. Um, make me think back on, uh, on sessions with, uh, how I was doing those. So, um, but yeah, I'd be curious, like what, what resonated with you guys? What did you like? Was it easy to follow? Is there anything that I could have done better? And more importantly, or most importantly, um, did you try any of these techniques yourself? So a, did you paint a beta galaxy mini of some sort? and follow any of what I said, and if so, how did you fare, and would you be willing to share your work? Uh, and secondly, 
did you paint something that wasn't a beta galaxy, but you followed some of my techniques or information in a different way? So like pre-shading with the speed paints um, and or contrast paints through an airbrush, masking, dry brushing. Did you follow the process using different paints, but you, you saw the technique and you tried it your own way on something else? If so, would you like to share that? Um, I think it's a little bit of engagement going in the comment section, but also lets me see your Instagrams, your pictures, and see what you're working on. Um, and I and I'd like to see both, like seeing if you took the techniques or the things I had recommended uh, or was teaching, um, and if you used it for a non-beta galaxy mini. I would be curious to see what you came up with following my process, but just basically doing different paints. Like there's a technique, but what paint you use, like that changes, but the way you do it is essentially the same. Um, and then on the flip side, if you painted a beta galaxy, how close did you get in similarity to what I did? Um, and if it was vastly off, is there something I could have explained better to help get it close to what it is you were trying to do? Um, and I would also uh, encourage people when, or, or you guys, the viewers, uh, when you're trying to follow a tutorial, don't stress too much if you don't get it 100% exactly the same because the tutorial is supposed to be teaching you something and it's okay if yours is a little bit different as long as you got the tools in your tool chest so that you can replicate an effect that you like. So you may have gotten a Beta Galaxy look or some other look with these techniques that looks better than what I did or for you, you feel better about it. Um, but the tools, the techniques were the same. Your way you way you implemented them was good. So what I'm getting at is you don't have to copy paste exactly what I did. Once you've got those tools in your tool chest, paint what feels right for you. Do what feels right for you and get to that detail level that you like uh, above or beyond, um, you know, whatever it is that you may be, may be achieving. So um, this was a bit of a ramble. Um, generally, uh, at the end of a process like this, I like to have a video where I reflect back and kind of talk about the ins and outs. Um, and I think on this one, uh, I, I think I touched down uh, or touched on the issues that I may have had, but I honestly wasn't too stressed on this. And I think that for me, that's because I set realistic expectations and I did not try and film this tutorial all in one day when I had time, you know, had an hour or so I'd sit down, I would work on it and I would set it back down and I'd wait. Um, that lack of pressure I feel really helped and I think it shows through on this uh, and I didn't burn myself out and that's important. And that's kind of important for the channel going forward. When I do content, I don't want to burn myself out doing it um, because that that's bad for me and it's bad for you guys because there's no content for you. So um, that said, I would love to hear your thoughts on the tutorial process. Uh, are there things that I could do to improve? Were you able to um, employ anything I showed uh, to effects that look similar or in other ways? So that's it. Thank you guys for coming with me on this journey. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you painted some awesome minis. And at the very least, if you did not paint any minis, I hope it was good background noise for you. I hope that it uh, helped motivate you to paint. I hope it gave you some tools that you can use later on when you decide to paint. As always, folks, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you coming along with me on this journey. Keep painting your models, keep rolling your dice, and I will catch you guys next time.